Welcome back to Bookmas. So today's video is gonna be just a cutie little fun Christmassy bookishy kind of day. Plan is is we have cookie decorating party tonight. We have a lot of cleaning to do. We're gonna do some Christmas book reading. I have some editing to do because a video is supposed to be going up today and I haven't finished editing it yet. Right now what I really really need is a coffee and a shower because I have a ton of stuff to do and not a lot of time to do it. It's also noon. I woke up at like nine, so I really could have been doing stuff, but I haven't been. And we also get to introduce you to our new kitten. I'll insert a clip after we got him in a second, but he's just a little guy. We named him Jack after Jack the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas to combine my love of my two favorite holidays, Halloween and Christmas. So you'll meet him. You'll, you'll, still, you'll see the clip of him next, but you'll meet him officially in a bit. But for now, let's go make a coffee and then I gotta go shower because I feel just gross. And then we have to start editing, reading, and cleaning. I don't have any clean Christmas cups that are like for ice drinks because I only have one and it's dirty. Uh, so we're using a skull cup today. I don't actually ever think I talked you guys through making a coffee with me. Also, I can't find my tripod. So if this gets really close and really weird sometimes, that's definitely why, because I can't find my tripod, so. But anyways, I like to coat the cup a little bit. And the, the new cold brew I bought, it's like super sweet, but it's supposed to be like black cold brew, but it's like really sweet. I don't know how to explain it other than it's like, it's too, it's like too sweet. Anyways, this is the brand. It's good, but it, see, it says right there, not too sweet, but it's like, it's pretty sweet, I feel like. And I know it looks like I put a lot in my cup, but it's literally the chocolate drizzle and then about a pump and a half of syrup. So I'm like, that's not, I don't think it's, I don't think that's too much. I don't think that that's a lot. This is sweet. I don't know. It smells like there's already flavoring in there. know too if these talking videos are these too much also they can't be. but when i talk is it too much <laughs> would we prefer if when i film like making a coffee would you prefer doing what i normally do which is just montaging it or do you like me talking because i don't like me talking i feel like me talking is kind of a lot do you like hearing me talk i don't know Anyways, the coffee is done. Let's go take a shower and then we've got to clean. And I hopefully wanna get everything done with enough time to like read. If not, we'll do that after the party. But there's definitely gonna be reading in this video, I promise. Let's go shower because I feel really gross. <laughs>
actually the next day after cookie decorating, my social meter just went poo. I fell asleep. I crashed on the couch. I was like on the couch. It was only like 11 p.m. I was like, oh, I'm gonna read and vlog a little bit. Did not do that. I fell asleep like 10 minutes later and woke up this morning at nine on the couch. So apparently I really needed that. I do want to put more in this vlog because I feel like there's not a lot going on. I didn't vlog a lot during the cookie decorating because I didn't want to record anyone in case they didn't feel comfortable. And also they don't really know that I do YouTube. I kind of just do it. So I tried not to record them too much, but everything turned out really fun. We have some cookies here that got decorated and then they just kind of left behind that are so cute. Like my cousin's wife, Abby, she made this one. Look how adorable that is. It's just so cute. She made this one. Look how cute. They're so adorable. And then there's this one that my uncle made. This just, this just freaks me out. I don't know what the hell this is, but I don't like her. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cutie little Christmas mug. I almost, almost, I don't know if I want to. I almost want to use this, but I don't know if I want to. Just cause I like, I almost don't want to use it. I just want it to sit there and look pretty. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna try and read for a little bit. I'm thinking one of my other Christmas TBR books or maybe one that I didn't pick for the Christmas TBR. That way the Christmas TBR books, I can read for the 24 hour reading challenge. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I, I don't really want a hot coffee because the coffee beans I got, I don't really like the taste of them that much. And I can't find the ones that I like anywhere. So I might just make a hot chocolate and then have a cold brew on the side. <laughs> Cause I do want a hot drink, it's cold in here, but I don't want a hot coffee. And I'm really worried because I know that this machine is gonna freak out the baby, so. Look how little. He's also very vocal. He's got that orange cat quality, if you will. We named him Jack after Jack the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas. So his nickname is Pumpkin. He just took a nap, so he's extra crazy and vocal right now. He's not a tiny boy. This is a chonker of a cat. Look at how long, look at how long his tail is. He is definitely gonna be Jack's best buddy when Jack is old enough. Anyways, let's make this coffee. have to see him play it's crazy hey don't buy my book jack come here hi to puppies what's the puppies oh the puppies oh the puppies anyways playtime over let's see what we think of In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I loved, oh my God, brain fart. I loved Love and Other Words, duh. And this is the only other book I'll have read by her so far. I have a ton of her books. I just have only read Love and Other Words. So I'm having high hopes. Oh my God, he is so cute just sitting there. I'm having high hopes that this will be good. So let's get into it. really hot. I am so close to being done. The way I have devoured this book in the span of like maybe four hours is insane. I know it's not that big of a book, but it's like, it's crazy. And I just need to talk about this because first of all, the whole plot is very Groundhog Day. And then the character's like, I don't know what that is. Benny, what are you talking about? 
Uncle Benny's amazing. I love him. I love Andrew and Maisie together. They are so, so cute. I'm not a big fan of Theo and I never was, even from the get-go. It's like, mm. and everyone's like, oh, Theo and Maisie, Theo and Maisie. It's like, don't push your, your children to be like in this relationship. And by the way, it took them a second to specify that they were not blood related. So I was sitting here like, cause like at first when we meet Benny, I'm like, what's going on? And I was like, okay, who's re biologically related to who and who isn't? Figured it out. Obviously. But I'm so close to the end. And right now, is it's not like a third act breakup that I know of, but it's when she's like snapping and she's like this fucking time loop, this freaking time loop. And she's about to make a huge fool of herself in front of so many people. And it's so painful to read. And it's literally physically stopping me in my tracks from just finishing the book. Cause look how many pages are left. It physically hurts to like, I, 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 I feel like I need to do this on camera. I don't know why. It's so crazy, but Benny is such a good guy. He's like, look, I believe you, I'm on your side. Because she's proved time and time again that, you know, what's actually happening is happening, but I'm just like, I can't read this. I have to have someone with me and you're gonna be with me while I read this part. I can't do this, I can't do this. It's so embarrassing. Oh my God. They just looked at her like she was fucking crazy and scared of her. I feel so bad for this woman. I can't. I don't know what it is about Christina Lauren's writing, but they just write some of the most likable male characters. I don't like Theo, obviously I already said that, but Andrew is just, oh my God. He's so cute and like, I love him. And they're so sweet together and just like apart even. And I, ah, I can't get over this, but I definitely think I might as well just finish the book, right? I mean, I've got to just finish the book. I'm reading the epilogue right now and I need somebody here with me because I feel like I'm going to start crying. Okay, okay. Why am I like tearing up right now? That was so good. I'm like tearing up right now, actually. This, uh, dare I say, is better for me than love in other words. I truly, I don't really think I can form a proper opinion. I'm 100% happy I read this before 2023 was over. I really, I can't even pull anything from my brain that's like negative other than I didn't like Theo all that much. I can't even, I can't even, all of the characters just felt so real and so funny. This is giving me five star feels. I I think this is a five star read for me. I, I think that I would dare I say, cause I gave Love In Other Words 4.5 rounded up to five. Dare I say this is either a 4.5 rounded up or just a five. I don't know. I always feel like this pit in my stomach when I rate things five stars though. Cause I'm like, what if it's not actually a five star and I'm just being over dramatic. It was so good. That was so good. I devoured that in the span of like six hours. I don't know what to do with my life now. I mean, homework and editing, which I'm not gonna show you guys because that's boring and lame, but oh my God. Give me one second, let me fix myself up. Okay, fixed myself up a little bit. Anyways, let's just ignore that. I look like garbage, let's ignore that as well. But like I said, I think I'm just getting five star feels, but I always feel guilty rating things five stars when other things that pulled out more intense emotions didn't get five stars like a thousand boy kisses that one didn't get five stars for me it was very high four a very high four but for some reason despite the fact it left me a blubbering sobbing mess on my bathroom floor at six o'clock in the morning after reading it overnight i still for some reason didn't give it five stars but i don't know what it is about this book that just made me feel five stars i almost i thought this is so bad but i almost wish that there was like, in the beginning, this isn't a super spoiler because you know it's a time travel. In the beginning, there's a car crash when they're leaving. I almost wished there was something like that towards the end, but I'm kind of glad there also wasn't because it wasn't super necessary. And then the third act conflict actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, which makes me so happy because third act conflicts and third act breakups and all that stuff, it's always just so frustrating that it's like, oh my God, is there seriously 
gonna be a breakup in like the third act i'm not saying there is in this book because i'm not trying to spoil anything but the third act conflict itself i was like on one hand i'm used to the crazy amount of like drama in the third act but then for some reason in this i like i was expecting it and then it didn't happen the way i thought it was and i first was like oh there's no there's not really a lot of conflict in this third act and then i was like this is actually nice this is just a happy ending book like you know what I, like obviously it's a happy ending book but it's like a happy ending book do you know what i mean it felt so nice to read something so happy especially because i've been in such a blah mood the last day or so you know new year coming up i don't know if anyone else feels like this but i know i do is when the new years come up i always feel like depressed and like i'm not doing enough in my life and that i should be farther ahead in life and that i should have more friends or i should you know luckily this year and the year before romantic wasn't a problem i'm very happy in my romantic life I have a husband who I love very much. We're planning our wedding. It's great. The wedding part's stressing me out, but the rest of it's great. We even have our very belated honeymoon already planned out and pretty much paid for. So all good there. But every year around this time, it's, it's easy to distract myself with like school and with like friends and the holiday activities but for some reason it's just coming out extra the minute i'm alone this year that i'm like i should be doing more and i know money's been a bit of an issue it was more so last year than it is this year but it, it's it's still an issue this year and my anxiety makes it difficult for me to just go get a second job but i'm also doing a lot so it's all very just in the air but reading this book gave me an escape that i does i didn't realize when i started reading it earlier today i didn't realize that i needed it as much as i did it gave me this escape that maybe i didn't realize i needed but definitely made me feel a little bit better i almost wish the epilogue was longer or that there was a second one just because I I just want to see I just want to see the ending extended I don't know why but give us a romance with one of the other characters so we can see the two happy and with like children or something give me what I need give me what I need I need more I just need to know that they live happily I like obviously they do like where's newly Nova where's Lexi with that list of like divorce couples they would be happily married I'm gonna go through and see if she's mentioned this book actually so everyone that was aggressive okay hold on so everyone that was the little festive vlog what did we think how did we feel about it did you enjoy watching me freak out over in the holidays by christina lauren did you enjoy the christmasy vibes do you want to see more let me know i know that most booktubers do just straight up reading vlogs but i also like it how like when sarah caroli does it sometimes she'll put a reading vlog in with like shopping or you know sometimes i think that vlogs can be more than just one thing they can still be bookish but they can also be something else this was a festive video i feel like it's good it's probably a little short i also have to keep in mind that sometimes i just have to live in the moment and i think i did my best to do that today so yeah we're gonna end the vlog here Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting. Since I started posting on YouTube consistently, I've gained like 200 subscribers. So I went like from like 500 to like 700 or something like that. Not that crazy amount. I know 700 is nothing to toot my horn about, but there's so many new people here watching and staying tuned and enjoying it. And it makes me so happy to hear and to see. And I hope, you know, that more join us in the future for the fun. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, do the usual booktube, YouTube things. I'd love to hear from you. My socials are all down below as always, you know the drill. If you wanna see more like this, let me know, whether it's just reading vlogs or reading just Christina Lauren for a day or like something like that, please let me know. In the coming new year, I've got a lot of ideas swirling around in my mind and I'm determined to keep going. <laughs> to keep working on it i'm not gonna let myself falter this year i don't think i'm really like pushing through with that thought but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you i appreciate you you're amazing i hope you have a great day and an amazing week and a great hour in life and year and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one bye everybody